Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 19th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out ordered lists in HTML and uh, ordered lists are lists that have, uh, you know, uh, some sequence, right? And, uh, you know, a sequence that can be observed. So let's say you have, uh, you know, a list of uh, countries ranked in order of, uh, you know, population or ranked in order of life expectancy and you want to, you know, display that uh, list of countries uh, on your website. In that case, it would make sense if you would use uh, an ordered list because you'll be able to display the ranking as in one, uh, you know, some country and at number two, you have another country and number three, you have another country. So the example that I have here is not of uh, nations, but of tennis players. So I went to uh, ADP's website and I checked out, uh, you know, the current rankings of players. And this is in May 2014. So, you know, if you're watching this tutorial at a later date, then, you know, this order could be different. You know, Djokovic could be on top and Nadal could be uh, at number two. Or, uh, you know, who knows, maybe Wawrinka could be the best tennis player in the world, uh, you know, six months later. So anyway. Let's not uh, concern ourselves with that. Uh, you know, let's just see how we can create uh, an ordered list in HTML. So the element that you have to use is the OL element. But before I get to that, let's see what we have in the body section first. So I have the center tag on line number seven. And uh, after that, I have the H1 heading tag. And uh, between the opening and closing H1 tags, I have the text ordered lists example. And then I have uh, closed my center tag. So this is what's going to appear at the center of the web page. And it's going to be bold and it's going to be large in, in size uh, because I've used the h1 heading tag here and then on the next line I have uh, you know the element ol which is a short form for ordered list and uh, I have the corresponding closing ol tag on uh, line number 14 and between these two tags I have several list items so you know to have these each of these list items I have used the li tag which is a part of the ol element so you have a uh, opening li tag and the closing li tag and between that you have the you know list item that you wish to display so rafael nadal is the first uh, item that it has to go in the list because he's currently ranked number one so that's why rafael nadal is uh, you know the first item and then you have no novak djokovic at number two then wawrinka at three federer at four and uh, ferrer at five and if you would open this uh, page in google chrome this is how it would look so you would have rankings of tennis players this way, one, two, three, four, five, and then you would have the names. Now let's say you don't want to use numbers and instead you want to use uh, alphabets. So that's also pretty simple. All you have to do is, uh, you know, go to the OL element in your page and after uh, OL, give a space and type in type. And uh, this is an attribute for the OL element. And uh, as a value to it, let's say you want to use a small case alphabet. So you just type in, a here and uh, save the file i'll go to google chrome and refresh the page and there we go we see that the numbers have uh, been replaced by small lowercase alphabets right and uh, if you want to use uppercase alphabets and you can change this to capital a and uh, go back to my web page refresh the browser and there we go we see that we get capital case uh, letters now and uh, if you want to use uh, you know roman letters and that's also possible like let's say you want to use lowercase roman letters letters then you know just type in small i uh, and uh, i'll refresh the page and we see uh, roman numerals this time and uh, let's say you want to use uh, uppercase roman numerals you type in capital i and i'll refresh the page and this is what i see Right. So order lists are very useful and I'm sure that, you know, uh, the websites that you've seen uh, have used order lists at some place or the other. And, you know, you would find them really useful and you would want to use them at a lot of places. Trust me on that. So anyway, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to check out unordered lists. And uh, I hope you guys had uh, fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.